It's a nice, hot, sunny day, and just part of me wishes I was back in Colorado and had access to the THC-infused drinks there because the ones here in Florida just suck. I think I've seen at a couple of places I can just get nano emulsified powder and it's really like a ton of powder just to put 10 milligrams in a drink so it's not a realistic way for me to get the dose that i want so if anybody makes any products here out in florida if you're one of these big old companies that makes stuff start making drinks i'll start getting them i actually like thc infused drinks better than edibles they're a little bit different the high is a little bit different but overall if i'm going to be eating or drinking something instead of smoking i'd rather have the drinks i actually found an old video of mine from 20 19. I posted on that green video website, the one that rhymes with stumble. Anyway, go to cupins.com to check it out. But I'm posting a lot of old videos on there. So it's really a good spot for like smoking videos. If you have ideas for smoking videos, go over to that channel and just leave me comments. I'm going to go read through all the comments, take all the smoking video ideas, stuff that you would want to see here, but I probably won't do because of restrictions. Talk about it over there. But drinks are so, so, so much better than edibles. All right. The high kicks in quicker. The diet digestion thing that some people deal with edibles where they don't have a good liver they're missing an enzyme in their liver or they don't have the same rate of digestion and high doses of edibles don't hit them you don't really have to worry about that with drinks you see it bypasses your liver and it just gets into your bloodstream like the tissue in your mouth absorbs the thc your esophagus your stomach lining absorbs it you don't have to digest it like food they actually kick in a bit quicker i was looking into some numbers because there's a lot of information out there some people say drinks last a long time i found one website that sells drinks they said their drinks only last 90 minutes and i was like what I've never had a 90 minute high off of any drink, any edible, anything that I ingested. So I don't really know, but in my experience, a lot of the times the high would last five or six hours. I would say not quite as long as edibles, but usually longer than just smoking. But one thing that I do recall is I don't just chug the whole drink. I'm not just shotgunning my entire drink really quickly. Sometimes I'll have a few drinks over the span of an hour. So maybe that plays into why it lasts a little bit longer. But no, I don't think I've ever had one last less than four or five hours. So when I saw 90 minutes, I thought that was crazy. But if you've ever had drinks, leave me a comment. Let me know. Maybe there's different things or different things. You know, everything hits everybody different. So there's no like... This is the number you need to get high in this amount of time for this long. It's It feels weird to talk about because it's different for everybody. But drinks have changed too. Like they didn't always make them with like emulsified powder or they didn't always use the nano emulsification because THC isn't like normally water soluble. So they break it down into like this really fine powder that is water soluble that you can mix into drinks and stuff. Some of the first drinks that I got were literally it was just like a bottle of Kool-Aid and they squirted like 200 milligrams of activated distillate in there. So if you you didn't shake it up really good you would be drinking your drink and then you just get like a little glob of a dab at the end and you're like oh what was that well that's the part that gets you high and even those still hit like even though some of them you would shake it up and you wouldn't see that glob of this slit it, it maybe would do a decent job it's not quite mixing in as well the, as the others it's not mixing it as good as if it's emulsified i feel like those do hit harder when i was first getting drinks it was like 2014 2015 and then later they started to add more things in colorado i think some of the first ones i get it was like uh sons of sativa they had a few brands i can't remember it was like some fruit punch there there's some of the drinks in the video that i put on that green website that's on cupins.com but there was like a lot of different stuff i really i've only seen like a few places that sell powder and then i can mix it into my own drink here in florida so i can't just go out and get like a nice fruit punch that's two three hundred milligrams like i used to be able to because i would do that a lot you know the edibles were kind of hit or miss for me but the drinks seemed to always hit as long as i had enough i think the first few times i experienced that i wasn't quite sure what my dose was so i would only have like half of the drink and then eventually Eventually, I would just drink 20 ounces or whatever was two, 300 milligrams. There was a lot of sodas I never got to try. I made the personal choice years ago just to stop drinking soda and see how long I could go without it. It's been forever. It's been a while. So I didn't really have some of like the Keef Colas and some of the sodas that are popular in Colorado. But I did have a lot of the juices. There was like these little flasks that I would get, which the flasks were really cool because it was a smaller amount of liquid that was more potent. Sometimes you really would get like a big 20 ounce drink and it's like, I don't want to drink that much fruit punch. But just looking back on that old video, it just reminded me of a simpler time, obviously. My videos are so different back then. I used to just hit record and get high and then 
hit end and then start streaming after I posted the video. Like, I think I'm going to really branch into that type of content, like dispensary halls and just like chill sesh videos over on the green site. Cause that's the stuff like I want to do here. I miss doing it here. And even when I don't do it here, I still get restricted the same. So it's kind of weird, but also on the events, I'm planning on doing an edible only event. I'm going to do more research. I haven't actually looked at all the shops. There might be a shop here that sells some kind of drink. I don't know about. So if you know about it, leave me a comment on this video. I have to go do some research. There's like 20 or 30 dispensaries I can check into and see what kind of drinks I can get. Otherwise, I just have to get a lot of powder. And the last time I got powder, it really was meant for you to like mix in 10 milligrams per drink or whatever. Like I, I had a whole thing of like 100 milligrams, but I couldn't put that in like a small enough amount of liquid for it to be an enjoyable drink. It would have been like a slurry or something because there was so much powder. But at the end of the day, I really like drinks. They kick in a bit quicker than edibles. You're not getting as much 11 hydroxy THC as when you eat it, but you still get some, even when you're smoking it, when you're vaping it when you're drinking it you still convert some naturally but just not as much as when you eat it and it passes through your liver so from my experiences i had nice enjoyable long highs i didn't have to inhale anything i didn't have to eat a bunch of stuff just sip some nice delicious juice and then a little bit later i'm really high appreciate you hanging out with me don't miss the 12 hour sesh on 7 10 we're blazing from 3 p.m to 3 a.m eastern live on twitch support me with amazon prime and i don't know how this is gonna work but i'm gonna try a new food video i've been reviewing some limited edition fast food and new fast food items on my clips channel if i get the bk spicy nugs video up the <laughs> i'll post it right here have a lit day my dudes